Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a very unique Class B style motorhome. This one can be used kind of like a daytime cruiser slash office or an actual motorhome. This is a 2022 Gulfstream BT Cruiser model 5230B. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first then the inside features then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Gulfstream and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I'm super excited to be bringing you another small, another never before seen floor plan on the show, the 5230. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going today? It's going good. We are here in Texas, you guys. Yes. We are at Motorhome Specialist. Look at that, Motorhome Specialist. And it is really amazing here, you guys. We are seeing some floor plans and some RVs that we've never seen before. It's like Disney World for motorhomes. It definitely is. So I hope you're excited to see this one. I've never seen it, so I'm excited. And Andrea, this one's definitely a little unique. Model is BT Cruiser. 5230B. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 24 feet 2 inches. This is the BT Cruiser. This is a Class C motorhome, but they kind of classify it as a B. The reason why is because it doesn't have that bunk over the cap. It's more of a smooth profile, more like a Class B. It is powered on an E350 chassis. Because it's a 2022, it still does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the hand cook. Dynapro. Oh, I love those. They're the uh, LT225 75 R16. And if you haven't seen our new t shirts, bing, they're the hand cooks. They're the Dynapros. Dynapro. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Uh, coming on down the side here, we do have mirrors on the left side and right side. They do fold up, and the cameras aren't in the mirrors. The cameras are actually right here. Oh, nice. Now, something I did forget to mention. It's still a front cap, right? But it's one piece molded, okay? So so that's a very nice feature that they do there. Check this out. You know, MHSRV.com. Very cool. With a nice power awning with LED lights, Andrea. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Very, very nice power awning with LED lights. Frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome. The LED lights right there. You do have a little solar right here if you want to have that, okay? Right here is going to be your batteries. Right here is going to be a little bit of storage, okay? And they use carpet in there, which is interesting. Right here is going to be your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. And we do got power on the outside here. And then check this out. Yep, there it is. Because this is a Gulfstream, they do use Asdale for their sidewall composite, which is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. Coming on down the side here, we got your water heater. And then right here is your propane tank. And if you want to see all the specs, bing, there's all the specifications about this motorhome. Show him real quick. Thanks so much for getting the Dynamax set up for us. No problem, man. No problem. No problem. <laughs> and uh, if you guys watch in two days, uh, we'll be doing the Dynamax Asada 3. You know, I felt bad because they had to get somebody to get it started for us. But I'm all like, we came all the way from Florida, so I'm definitely doing a Dynamax, you know? Right here, we do have a hitch. 5,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Whoa, no. 7,500 pound hitch. Doesn't mean it can tow that. You're still good with 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, weigh your motorhome, always know before you tow. Spare tire, spare tire carrier, backup camera integrated in the tail light, and we do have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. All right, Matt, hold on. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it does have a nice one piece fiberglass roof. One AC unit, it is 30 amp. Right there, you can see the cutouts for Max Air fans. And there is the Wine Guard digital antenna right there. Okay, Ready? Matt, hold on. Here we go. Last one. Here we go. 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 Here
bus stop. Here we go now. Careful, it's rocks. Great, if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's gonna bring his wife out to Texas to show you what features Hill Roof has to offer? Nobody. Longhorns. We're in Texas now, Andrea. Yes, I know. Whoa. It's freezing here. Hang on a second. Look at that nice taillight design. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It's different. Right here, so it's just some of your tanks, one of your uh, your valves right there. City water connection cable. Let's see what we got here, okay? Outdoor shower, low point drain. So storage for your stinky slinky. Gasoline fill up. Black tank flush, 30 amp unit right there. Very nice. Some more storage. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just a little bit. Then this is your generator. 4,000? 4,000, oh man. Andrea, right. you're getting good. Andrea's getting good. Well, Andrea, the outside of the BT Cruiser looks great, but the inside does look even better. Let's go, take a look. Be careful skipping on these rocks. You be careful on those little high heels you got there. Oh, I'm not wearing high heels. Yeah, hey, high heels aren't I'm, made for I'm Texas, Andrea. Boots. I'm wearing boots, Matt. High heel boots? No, they're not high heel boots. He's so silly. Okay, this is very strange that the door is all the way down here, right? Is it me or is it strange? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Andrea, you're not in Tampa anymore with them boots. We're here in Texas. <laughs> We're in the Lone Star State. We're in the Lone Star State. Here you go. Okay, so here we go. We're going in. Matt, you're going to get the cargo. Um, as you can see, there's one slide and it's in. So it's simple floor plan. You walk through here. There is the um, cabin area. And then back through here is the bathroom yes it's 2528 pounds of cargo really wow yes and andrea while we're getting the slide out out let's take a moment to thank the sponsor of this episode U steps is an easy to use telescoping ladder very easy to store and bring with you in your rv with their rubber tops that works individually on uneven surfaces and avoid sliding and damaging walls adjustable heights to extend to only your desired height and finally, the angulated rubber feet maximize surface contact to avoid slipping. We have a video demonstrating the U-steps that we have. Make sure you guys check out that video. We will link it down in the description below. Also, we have a link to Amazon to buy their three ladders. Thank you so much to U-steps for sponsoring this video. Andrea, notice how much more space this has with the slide out out. And then also remember what I said, this isn't your traditional RV. This no. is more like an office or a day cruiser. I really love that. But first, before we show everybody, let's get started up front here in the cockpit area. Okay. Cockpit area here. E350 chassis. Look, it has a brake controller right there. Very nice. It's the new 7.3 liter. We got the windows. Andrea, we started the day cold, freezing. Now things are starting to get heated up. What do you think? No, oh, it's still cold. It's still cold? Oh. <laughs> it's still cold. We got cup holders right here. Oh, notice how there's nothing there. The oh, camera's weird. right here, um, which I kind of like that as well. Andrea, how do you feel? Comfortable, I like it. Yeah. Um, it, it's actually pretty spacious. I thought it wasn't going to be, but it is. Yeah, definitely. I wonder if these swivel, do they? No, definitely no. not. Definitely Darn not. It. It's okay. Uh, right here, we can see all the dash and everything. And then here you go, Andrea. And then above here, you guys, we don't have a bunk over the cab. We have like a little entertainment center area. Yes. So we got storage right there. Yes, ma'am. And then uh, storage over there. Double yes, ma'am. And then a TV here. It does not. Okay, the TV swivels, but there's no storage. Okay. So, so it like, comes out and yep. goes the other way. Okay. Yep, yep, exactly. And then over here in the living room area, double sofas. No dinettes. I love that. You know, I've been screaming this for years that, hey, don't don't give me a dinette. Give me double sofas. So right here, Andrea, is a bed. You got the lights. How do you like the balances? Um, they're not bad. Okay, good. Daytime seats as well. 
See, I really love how Andrea takes it seriously. Like, she, like, had to, like, look at it real quick and analyze it to figure out if she likes it or not. <laughs> Rather than just saying, yeah, good or bad. So, great job. And what is this, a trifold? Uh, it, it appears to be. So, before we make this into a bed, let, let me demonstrate this. This looks like a jackknife. Yes. So, first, so we got, we we got the table here. we have this pedestal table there. Yes. That you can take out. And I will, I will show these cabinets real quick, Matt, since okay. you're right there. We got two cabinets above. Yes. Great. And then we have a privacy shade here. Yes. And then these are the Vanna White lights that nice. I like to call them. Okay. USB there. And then this table's really nice. So watch those. Oh, yeah, watch that. That was silly. Okay. Let me do this. So, so yep, this is the bed exactly. that Jack knives down. Okay, what doesn't make sense to me, Andrea, is that it does look like that was a trifold. Well, but we'll figure that out in a second. Well, probably what happens is, is when you have to slide in, you'll probably have to use that one. Like if you're dry camping or you can't put your slide out. And then when you are camping somewhere off grid or something like that, you can probably use this trifold. Because I'm not sure if <laughs> it might it's not going be a trifold. To looks like a trifold. It looks like a trifold, and, and I, I don't think you're going to be able to get that out with that jackknife out as well. So. Well, we're about to find out. Oh, very weird. Yeah. Or... Yep, yeah. nope. No, you definitely can't put that jackknife. So jack that's knife. very interesting, Andre. Great observation that it is one or the other. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Again, I don't know. See, this would this would be kind of more along the lines of the type of RV that we would get for like a business. Right. Like you're not sleeping in it. Like you can sleep in it, but it's really more about being a day cruiser. Right. Okay, Andre, do you want to show everybody the kitchen? Yes, but before I do, Matt, tell everybody about RVR. Oh yeah, of course. We are partnered with RVR now, which is a nationwide network of dealerships. So that's why we're here at Motorhome Specialist. Doesn't matter what motorhome you're interested in, if you're ready to buy, go to mattsrvreviews.com and fill out that first contact form and somebody from our team will contact you. And it doesn't matter where you live in America, we're gonna get you a phenomenal price. Andrea, show everybody the kitchen. Okay, I'm going to start right here. Yes. So this looks like it's kind of like a wardrobe slash pantry area. Okay. And then we have a drawer here. Yeah. Nice drawer. And then we got a two... Two-way. Two-way Dometic refrigerator. Yes. That would run off your propane and your shore power. Yes. You can see Look that. Look at that. That is huge. Okay, All over here, Matt, there is two drawers. Okay. Uh, solid surface countertop. I like I'm it. I like it. Yes, ma'am. We've got a cabinet up here. Okay. And then it looks like we have a double sink. If I can get these, it's because I'm wearing gloves. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I can get this one, Matt. You're gonna have to get that one for me too. You grab the camera, ma'am. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, it's hard to grip, it's right? Sticky. Okay, so we have a double sink there. Yes. Okay, and then underneath, we have, you know, a little bit of space there, not much for a trash can. Over here, we have the microwave. Okay, okay. Uh, there is a three burner, what is this? Uh, Greystone yep. propane cooktop. Very nice. With an oven. Okay. And we have a drawer down here. So nice. And then, guys, there is another cabinet right here. Look at this. Check this out. Wow, that's a ton of space that's right there. That's another wardrobe or a closet. You have two more drawers here. Yes. Very nice. And then you have your panel here. Okay. It's now time for the bathroom test. Oh, they got a... Oh. Oh, okay. The hubcaps aren't on yet. I was wondering. I was like, man, they looked a little weird. Looks like we got a Nautilus door on that that's a big shower for how little it is in here isn't 24 it? by 36 andre they Close did a great shower. job they did a great job with very it very nice yes ma'am right there okay if you want to show that sink area um, in the top we have part a sink a round sink that's cute and then i mean you can see there's actually a lot of space in here for this bathroom oh yeah we've got a cabinet 
Okay. And then Matt. Oh, I forgot the medicine cabinet. Nice medicine cabinet. All right, Matt. I want to see this. Well, it looks plastic, Andrea. Womp womp. Womp womp. Is this three in a row that aren't prime pooping positions? Yeah. <sighs> Come Andrea. on, Texas. Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas except yeah. the bathrooms. <laughs> Not a prime poop position. It's a plastic toilet. And what's crazy is, again, for how small this motorhome is, this was a really good spot. Um, but you just don't get it. You, you can't. You can't get it because you you got solid surface countertops, but not porcelain toilet. Yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> well, Andrea, everybody's dying to know what the MSRP is. But before we give you that, you know the rules. It's now time we give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Um, let's do three things we like about it. Oof. I got, I, I got it. Okay, you got three? I or got, how many you got? I got two. Talk to me. Okay, I really, I really like all the storage in here. So number one. Yes. Is the storage. It's crazy for how little Storage it is. Here, here. Over here. Storage there. You got these cabinets. Storage above. And you got these drawers. Tons so of storage, it's Andrea. It's cool, yeah. Okay. It's, it's pretty cool for the storage. That's number one. Number two. Okay, number two. Um, I gotta say, I like the fact that they gave you the two sofas. Yes. Um, it, it's different. You don't see a lot of RV floor plans like this. I love it. So it is pretty cool for traveling, you know, being more comfortable and things like that. Yes. But I, I do like the fact that they give you the trifold and the jackknife. Sofa. Okay. Okay. So I like that. Very nice. You that's... thought it was weird. No, 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 it. no. That's number two. And, and I agree. I love the double sofas. So that's two. And then number three, what I'm going to say is I love the whole concept of this RV. I love how this isn't your traditional RV that the people that are going to buy this might be working in here more than sleeping in here. Might be a mobile office, might be like a hangout spot. Like if you're in the summer or something and you just need a place to cool off and then it can sleep you. So again, I'm, I'm going to kind of combo that. I just like the whole concept of it and the big windows definitely help. Great, so that's three things we love about it. Andrea, now it's time for three things we don't like about it, and I will go first. Okay. As much as we like the double sofas, I do not like the trifold, how it's, when the trifold's out, you can't use the jackknife. I am not a fan of that whatsoever. I think it'd be cool if you could use both sleeping areas at one time, personally. That is number one. Andrea, number two? Um. I would have much rather had a bunk right over this cab. Really? I know it's silly, but because of the situation with the sleeping arrangements, oh. I would have much rather had a smaller bunk up here. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Definitely. And and would just put the TV somewhere else. Okay. That's yeah. number two. And then Andrea, I do have a number third. Okay. We're going outside. All right. We are going outside. If I didn't mention it, it does have auto leveling as oh, well. Oh, awesome. Number third, Andrea. It actually really isn't that bad of storage, but there is carpet in the storage, which we are never, ever, ever a fan of. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Oh, no, it's not. It's now time for the MSRP. People are dying to know what the price is on this. MSRP is not bad. $113,588. Andrea, that is the MSRP. As you know, that's not the sale price. And as you guys know, we are now partnered with RVR, which is the nationwide network of RV dealerships. So if you're ready to buy this unit or any unit, go to mattsrvreviews.com and fill out the contact form. Doesn't matter where you live in New York, Florida, Texas, or California, we have a dealership close to you. And what are we gonna get you, Andrea? The best price in America. Absolutely. Is there anything you would like to say? Yes. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yeah. Golfstream will be reading the comments. Of course. So they wanna see what you have to say. Yes. So do we. Um, thank you so much to Motorhome Specialist for letting us be here today. Yes. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks thank you guys. Watching. Absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.